Well, we will continue our examination of two-way ANOVA, and in this video we're going to examine writing research questions and developing the appropriate hypotheses for those questions as needed. Uh, we're moving forward with the two-way ANOVA. I remind you the purpose of the two-way ANOVA is to examine for interactions between two independent variables and one dependent variable. In order to run a two-way ANOVA, you must have two independent variables. These should be categorical. And you must have one dependent variable, which is continuous. Now, uh, categorical means that we have things broken out in nominal breakings. And then continuous means that we either have interval or ratio data for the dependent variable. You will recall this illustration. Now, this is going to take a little bit of explaining here. As I kind of led you on in the first video, just trying to give you some idea that we would have two independent variables, which were categorical, affecting one dependent variable. Now, I did this across three groupings, assuming that, that uh, the first independent variable had three and the second independent variable had three. The fact is, the first independent variable may have two, the second in in independent variable may have six. It, it really, they don't have to be the same. But I did this because I want you to see that if you have uh, one independent variable, and, and you're doing the first independent variable, you're in fact doing an, a simple ANOVA on it, then when you do the second independent variable, you're doing a simple ANOVA on it, but in the two-way, what you're adding to that is the interaction of those variables upon the dependent variable, which is indeed very profound. Now, what type of problems can you solve? Two-way ANOVA can be used to determine if two independent variables affect a dependent variable. For example, you could determine how gender and ethnicity interact to determine final GPA upon graduation with a two-year associate's degree. Notice that gender and ethnicity are both categorical and your final GPA is continuous, uh, ranging in most institutions somewhere between zero and four. I have seen some institutions that have a GPA ranging from zero to five. I don't know why they would do that, probably just to drive the rest of us insane. With two-way ANOVA, we will measure three areas of interest to us. The, the first of these is the main effect for the first factor of gender. Now, when you do that, you're in fact conducting a, a, a simple one-way ANOVA uh, based upon differences in gender. When you, next thing we would look at is the main effect for the second factor, ethnicity. When you do that, you're doing a simple one-way ANOVA based upon the factor of ethnicity. But then we examine the interaction effect between gender and ethnicity upon our dependent variable. And in this, we're beginning to just touch the fringes of simple multivariate statistics where we have more than one independent variable acting upon one dependent variable. Now, I will remind you that this is very powerful because there, there aren't many things that are, are determined simply by one uh, independent variable. Uh, many things, most things are affected by many independent variables. The limitation of the two-way ANOVA is that we can only consider two of them at a time. Now, the research questions for the main effects and interaction effects follow. Uh, the first of these is what are the final GPAs upon completion of the two-year associate's degree by gender and ethnicity? Now, this is a descriptive question. It's used to collect your descriptives, and their descriptives are always important. But being a descriptive question only, it does not require hypotheses. Now, your next question would be do differences exist in final GPA upon completion of a two-year associate's degree based on gender? Now, gender is the categorical value, and you're looking to see if differences exist based upon gender. This is a methodology question, which will require hypotheses. And another, the third research question would be, do differences exist in final GPA upon completion of a two-year associate's degree based on ethnicity? And then the last, does interaction occur between gender and ethnicity in affecting the final GPA upon completion of a two-year associate's degree. This question is added because we're doing a two-way two -way ANOVA. Now, the first research question or a research hypothesis for the main effects for the independent factors follows. Uh, we start with the first factor, gender. And 
and the gender would be the, the null hypothesis would be that no differences exist in final GPA upon completion of a two year associate's degree based on gender. And the next would be that differences exist in final GPA upon completion of a two year associate's degree based on gender. Now you remember the question was do differences exist? The null is no differences exist and the alternate is that differences exist. Now we will continue with the research hypotheses for ethnicity and the null is that no differences exist in final GPA upon completion of a two year associate's degree based on ethnicity. The alternate is that differences exist based upon ethnicity. Very much, almost identical to what you did in your, in your uh, one way ANOVA, your simple ANOVA. Now you move to a two way and when you look at gender and you look at ethnicity, Again, you are looking at those as if you were doing a one-way ANOVA. Now we move to the important one, and that's the research hypothesis for the interaction effects between gender and ethnicity. And the null hypothesis is that no interaction occurs between gender and ethnicity in affecting the final GPA upon completion of a two-year associate's degree. And the, the, the alternate is, is that interaction occurs between gender and ethnicity and affecting the final GPA upon completion of a two-year associate's degree. So I will remind you in this that we're actually examining with our two-way ANOVA three things. First we're examining the, uh, the effect of gender, then we're examining the effect of ethnicity, and then we're inter examining the interaction of gender and ethnicity all upon the dependent variable. So this is pretty interesting, isn't it? This is a little bit more complex than what you did with a simple ANOVA, but we will continue with our videos now to examine assumptions and to actually run one of these in SPSS. Hang on, I think you're going to enjoy this. As always, I want to thank you very much for your support in the words of the old Trekkies, live long and prosper, and if you meet a Vulcan, similarly, the answer is peace and on life. You have a great day.